Okay, another uh, effective treatment method we're going to show you today is uh, moxa or moxa bustion. Um, it is traditionally a Chinese herb. It's called uh, Artesimus vulgaris, or also commonly known as mugwort. It comes in uh, various different forms, one being um, a direct kind of form, kind of looks a little like beige, kind of feels like lint, and for lack of a better term, uh, it's really nice. You put a little cream on the skin, you would light it, and you could kind of do repetitive motions like that. It's really great to bring warmth into the body, really heats up the muscles, uh, great for dispersing cold and really good for pain and people who are kind of deficient in nature. Um, moxa being yang in nature, which uh, you'll learn that yin and yang is kind of a balance, so they're very warming, very moving, and things of that nature. So this is kind of one of the methods used. Another great common use method is a moxa stick. So what you would do is you would light this and you could kind of move it around the channels. It, it, it allows for a lot larger surface area to light as well. So with someone's face down like this, you could kind of put it over their legs and you can kind of get more of a surface area in a less amount of time as well. Um, they actually do have thermography studies that prove that it does penetrate the muscle layers of the skin. So we're going to kind of move this in an up and down direction along her leg here. Always being conscious to kind of not come too close to the skin, but close enough where she feels the warmth. Can you feel that? Yep. So this is just kind of a nice technique to kind of get the whole back. Let's see, you know, obviously she's face down here to get the whole back of the leg. Always be conscious, too, of the, uh, the cherry of the moxa. You don't want to have any piece fall off, and especially on the patient's skin. Another technique you can do, it's something called sparrow pecking, which you kind of just go more into one location, a little bit deeper, maybe hold a little bit longer. A nice way to get the nice warmth of the moxa into the body. So definitely with the uh, moxa stick being so uh, filled with smoke and uh, you want the best way to extinguish it, we have these little containers here you can kind of put that directly into. If you don't have a container like this, you can always put it into a nice little cup of uh, uncooked rice. It'll go out naturally, and then it's ready to go for next time. Just have to relay it again, and that is uh, moxa.